Welcome back to another fishing adventure. Hello, hello, hello. It's about nine o'clock in the morning, and uh, I'm here at the uh, the big muddy lake. I'm fishing with uh, spicy tiger nuts for the hook bait to start with, and uh, I think I got a little bit of pack bait left over from last time. I'm going to use that to get started, get my baits out. And the fish just jumped behind me. And once I get my first set of baits out, then I'll go ahead and uh, make another batch of pack bait. Yeah, I just got a little bit of pack bait left over from last time. I'm pretty sure this is fruit cocktail because I can see a few little bits of cherry in there. Yeah. Fruit cocktail and oats. And that little piece of corn there is from the sweet feed. Sweet feed has a little bit of dried feed corn in it. And this next batch of pack bait that I'm going to make here as soon as I get these casted out, I'm going to use a, an ingredient that I've never used in pack bait before. Just got some uh, leftover ingredients from, from other things sitting around in the garage and I thought, eh, might as well throw that on some pack bait today. So let me get these casted out and I'm going to make some, some funky different kind of pack bait. It's pretty cool and nice right now. It's probably in the mid 60s. Uh, the forecast today uh, has a high of 86 with uh, pretty windy 20 to 30 mile an hour wind. It's already going about 15 now. I think it's just going to pick up throughout the day. And then a uh, good chance of rain and thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening. Well, just scared a fish there when my bait plopped in. A uh, little boil about 20 feet away from my where my bait landed in the water. But I'd like to just go ahead and see if I can catch a new PB or two uh, here before the, the weather gets too hot and too crazy windy. This third one I'm gonna go lay down here with. All right, this new batch of bait is uh, it's going to consist of my usual mix to start with, which is uh, old fashioned oats and some sweet feed pellets mixed together. And to that, I'm going to add Fruit Loop cereal. These are left over from uh, my boilies that I made earlier this spring. I made some boilies uh, using this cereal, and I've got quite a bit left. I'm going to crunch it up, put it in pack bait. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up the bag a little bit to allow some more space in there. And crunch, crunch, crunch. Well, that did surprisingly little. <laughs> Broke up a lot of them. Still pretty chunky though. That's all right. Let me stomp on them a little bit more here. All right. Well, that didn't do that much. It crunched them up a little bit. They're, what's really gonna when they start absorbing some moisture, they're just gonna fall apart in the pack bait anyway. So these are just the generic Fruit Loops. From Walmart, I think. Yeah, it's to, I don't know, I'm not gonna measure anything. I never measure anything. Just dump a bunch in there. There we go. Now, and that smells really fruity. Wow. Uh, and to, for the liquid, I think I'm gonna go with pineapple. Big can of crushed pineapple. This is a 20 ounce can. And, oh, looks like I need a can opener, dang it. I always have a can opener, I just... Those easy open cans are so convenient. <laughs> so yeah, the level of fruity scent in this stuff is going to be pretty intense. And there's not much juice in that pineapple. I'm going to add some water too, I think. Just a little bit of lake water. Three, four handfuls. Normally one can of stuff is uh, 
just about the right amount of liquid for when I'm just doing the oats mix, but this added cereal is probably going to take a little more uh, liquid. I'm going to go with this for now. If it needs more, I can always add more water. All right, well, let's take a look inside real quick. I've never done this before with the whole cereal. Let's see, I'm sure the cereal is still crunchy. Oh, actually, it's soft. Cereal is already falling apart. Green one just falls apart so oh yeah a couple more minutes that cereal will just be mush and I'll add just a lot of sugar and, and scent to this super duper sweet sweet cereal pineapple oats all right here we go we got a runner look at him go look at him go he's not very excited but I'm excited. Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are in business. Look at that rod bend. And look at that break in the water out there. Uh, are we really, am I really starting off the day with a good fish? That almost never happens. I almost always have to wade through at least half a dozen dink fish where I'll get a decent one on the line. Let's see here. Let's get the net ready. No. Okay. It was just a mirage, I guess. I'm not gonna get the big fish. He came off. I was probably pulling a little too hard. I think I, uh, in this area, there's not a ton of snags here. I really should probably be a little uh, gentler uh, with the tugging of the line. Damn it. Yeah, hook's still good and sticky sharp. Ouch. Ouch. I'm doing the next bait up here with some of this uh, Fruit Loop and Oats pack bait. The uh, seems like the moisture content, the moisture level on this turned out I kind of got it pretty good to start with. I haven't added any more water or anything it's just been sitting there since i made it that was probably half an hour ago so that packs pretty good and it doesn't seem like it's you know too wet either so lucky duck i guess see the problem is i was talking about that fish like i already had it on the bank dumb 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 shouldn't do that don't count your fish until they're on the bank Okay, instant replay here, same scenario, same rod, same spot. Let's do it. Oh, he jumped up in the air. He jumped up in the air as soon as I put pressure on him. He's just coming in, not fighting at all. Okay, I'm gonna be gentle with this fish. I'll be gentle and uh, I won't I won't give him the onions unless I absolutely need to to keep him from going into a snag or something. There he comes. There he comes. Oh, jumped again. <sighs> All right. Yeah, first fish of the morning, chunky little guy, five six pound fish. Not even close to the weight of that first fish, but uh, the big fish are out there. Back he goes. So long. It's kind of interesting how these chunks of the Fruit Loop cereal, they're soggy, they're completely mushy, but they're, they're still staying together. You can see uh, little chunks of them uh, all over here. It stays together, but yet it's mushy. It just, it's just sticks to the oats. It's kind of cool. I kind of figured they just melt away, but uh, no, there's chunks of cereal all over in here. Uh, it's about 11.30, I think. Been in here about two and a half hours, and just been kind of steady about every, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. Get a bite. Take my time with this one here. And uh, let's get a little closer to the bank here. 
Get in here. Get in here. I'm gonna let you go. Gotcha. Yeah, this is a pretty decent fish. Probably big fish of the day so far. Not saying much. This is kind of an interesting little fish. He might have a little bit of mirror carp uh, in him there. See how these scales up here by his gills are kind of big and yeah, interesting. The rest of him looks like just a plain Jane common carp, but uh, yeah, he's got some interesting looking pattern up here. But yeah, five, six pound fish, going back. <sighs> Go tell your grandpa to stop by. See ya. Hopefully, playing this numbers game is going to pay off for me today. It's about 12.30, so it's getting pretty hot. I would think that the midday lull should be getting uh, getting underway here. So I don't know if the bite's going to stop. I'm going to keep fishing. I decided I'm just going to fish uh, for the long haul today. And uh, let's play the numbers game. See if I can get a big fish on the bank. Okay. I could have sworn this, this was like a bass pecking at my line. And I've been ignoring it for, I don't know, 10 minutes because it's just been a little bonk, bonk, bonk. Not even enough to pull drag. And at first, uh, this feels like a big fish. Well, now my middle rod's going off. Alrighty then. This is just, he's not pulling drag, he's just kind of sitting there. So I'm gonna let him ants on me. Ew. Giant black ants all over the place here. I'm gonna crawl up your pant leg. Yeah, this is a better fish. Oh, see that tail slap? Oh, he is pissed. This is a better fish. This is the fish I came here for. Come on. Gotcha. Yeah, now we're talking. All right, that guy's gonna stay in the net right there for a minute or two while I check on this other line. Gotta catch up to this fish. Yeah, he's not there. Nothing there, he must have must have managed to spit it. Okay. Oh, look, he's swimming off with my net. He's trying to. All right. Now we're talking. Gosh, I like these big fish so much better. Hooks come out easy. They just lay here. They're all worn out. <laughs> so much easier to deal with for some reason. Yeah, 12 pounds with the net. 11, 14. Yeah, this is more like it. Nice, 11 pound beast of a carp. Gave me a pretty good fight. This is uh, two, three times, you know, what I've been catching. Uh, I'll take these all day long. Great size fish, really good fight. It's getting better. <laughs> Not gonna toss this guy. These bigger fish usually don't, uh, you know, go crazy and take off real fast and splash me. I've had them before where, where they'll just like sit here like, I'll be doing this, and then my other rod will go off, so I'll be over there fighting the fish, and <laughs> see ya. And they'll just sit there and and take in water until I finally chase them away. Another one of those subtle bites. Another one of those subtle bites. <clears throat> yep. 
Come on, I'm playing the song. Show yourself. My other rod's going off now. This is uh, strangely familiar. This is exactly what happened last time I caught a fish. Except this was a big fish. So maybe now I got the small fish here. And then the big one can be on this one here. Might be. It feels pretty heavy. I've been wrong before though. Of course the little ones don't usually do that. Alright, so one fish in the net, one fish on the line. What's going on with this third line here? What? No triple? Come on, really? I might have something good here. I don't know. How many times can I say I don't know? A few more probably. One thing I do know is that this fight is taking forever because this fish is just staying down. Oh, it is a good fish, I think. Yeah, it's a good fish. It's a good fish. I already got a little fish in the net. Hmm. What to do, what to do. I've contemplated putting this, engaging the bait runner and putting this down, get that little fish out of the way. But I'm afraid this fish big fish is going to get off if I do that. I think I'm just going to bring him in and then net him with a, another fish already in the net and then another line, which is probably going to be a tangled mess, but yeah, this is a quality fish coming in here, folks. And it's like almost one o'clock. You know, that's kind of been what I've been seeing lately. The bigger fish have been coming around later in the day. 11, 12, 1 o'clock. Oh yeah, it's definitely a good fish. I just saw his back. Oh yes, get in. Get in. This is a big fish. Yes! Oh, that, was a, that was a stressful 30 seconds right there, but I got two fish in the net. One of them is a beast. I expect I'm going to be cutting some lines here. All right, here's little brother. We're getting him out of the equation. I'm going to bet this fish is all of 15 pounds. We'll find out here. Yeah. Oh. Almost 17 with the net. <laughs> I'm heading in the right direction here. The fish are getting bigger. This was a 17 in the net, so we'll call it a 16 pound fish. This was great. You know, the subtle, subtle bite of the fish here in this shallow water lake. You know, these last two bigger fish that I caught, I thought it was just a bass messing with my line or another one of those dinkers and didn't really, couldn't really tell that it was a big heavy fish like this. Until he gets within, you know, 20 yards of the shoreline and starts pulling drag. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to fish a little longer. See if this keeps up. Gosh. You are so much more pleasant to deal with than your itty-bitty little grandkids. Your annoying little grandkids. Get out of here. See you later. Yeah. I'm really pleased at how uh, the addition uh, of the Fruit Loops to the pack bait turned out. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It just it sticks together really well and there's still chunks in there and the the smell I mean the fruity smell is I wish I had smell of vision here. Let me put it real. Can you smell it? It smells really fruity. So carp seem to like it, too I think I'm gonna make this is the last of that batch that I made earlier and uh, I think I'm gonna make another batch exact same thing All right, I guess maybe it won't be exactly the same because I think I only had one can of pineapple in here so the, the can will be something else, but uh, yeah, just doing the same thing with the uh, 
Fruit Loops. Use these up. And yeah, I guess I'll stick with the fruity theme. Fruit cocktail. Easy open lid this time. And I think it's going to need a little bit of water too. Two, three, four handfuls of water. Did you get all those precise measurements? <laughs> Bada bing. This line just went slack. There we go. I just finished catching in a little dink and let them go. This uh, seems better. Yeah, it seems better. Just gonna take my time with this fish. Enjoy this nice afternoon. It's about two o'clock. And this fish is just not hardly fighting at all yet. I'm just pulling in the weight. I mean, I could be pulling in a snapping turtle for all I know. It's been that much dead weight. Oh, it's a big fish. I just saw his back. Yeah, it's big. Yeah, I just saw his back. Ooh, that was awesome. Oh, it's a real good fish. Get it. <laughs> Get in here. No, oh, right out of the net. He knows what's going on now. He felt the net, saw me. I saw the look in his eye when he leapt out of that net. Come on in here. Yes, he's in that net. Oh, he ain't happy about it. It's crazy how gentle these big fish are when they when they pick up the bait. They'll just sit there and try and spit it. Eh, 14 in the net. Yeah, really long for uh, only a 13 pound fish. Really long. I think he's probably, I'm guessing 32 inches or so. This is a really long fish. Gigantic tail. Future 30 pounder if I ever saw one. And give me one heck of a fight. It was a long fight. Get a good look at him there. All uniform scales. Back in the water he goes. Head in the water and just keep them upright until they get recuperated enough to swim off on their own. That's what I usually do. That was a pretty long fight. I suppose he's uh, real worn out. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. See you next time. Yeah, it's 2 o'clock. I decided to stay and fish through the afternoon to see if I could uh, figure out a pattern of what these, what these big fish are doing, because that's what I've been seeing lately, is that uh, the big fish haven't been coming around until 11, 12, 1 o'clock, and it's 2 o'clock now. So it's fall transition time. I think anything goes. Oh, we got an aggressive take here. Uh, that's a good sign. <laughs> oh, all right. You can't have that much. Wow. This is this is some weight. This is. Oh, he broke the surface out there. This is some good weight. I'm uh, concerned that he's going to get off into some snags over there. I mean, he's heading to the left. See that down tree over there? I gotta, I gotta go down there. I gotta turn him around. Gotta turn him around. Yes, he turned. Man, 
man, he was heading right for that down tree that's sticking out in the water right there. Put my hand on the spool and just horsed him. He finally turned. Wow, thought for sure I was gonna get wrapped up in that tree. And you know that tree's over there, don't you? Yeah, this is a real good fish. I think I can let the drag up a little bit now. Walking back down here, away from old snaggy tree over there. Yeah. Yeah, this is another good fish, folks. No doubt about it. The weight is there. Same behavior as the last fish, just slow, slow cruising. He went on a real good run right when he got hooked. Yeah, he's moving a lot of water. That's a, that's a good fish. He saw me. Yeah. Oh, this is a big fish. Get in here. Okay. Just gotta be patient. I'm not too patient. Got him. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I think this might be big fish of the day so far. What was that big fish of the day earlier? I think that was like a 16 pounder. Yeah, I think this is a contender. Hooked real good in the corner there. Ah! Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> About 15 with the net. <laughs> Not necessarily big fish of the day, but this is a beast nonetheless. Right around 14 pounds. Look at the size of that tail on this thing, man. This lake has some real potential. The fish that I'm catching in here, where are the 25 pounders? I don't know. I think they're in here. I'm gonna keep playing that numbers game. Great fish, great fish. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon, middle of the day. See ya. Thanks again. Well, it's 3 o'clock and I'm going to call it four big fish. What an awesome day. They seem to like that uh, the Fruit Loops in the bait seem to work pretty good. And uh, I don't know, late, after, or late morning, early afternoon seemed to be the hot bite today. Awesome, awesome. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it. See you on the next one.